So the Euro Truck Simulator setup video I did nearly a year ago, one of the most common questions I've or requests I get on that video is show your settings, like within the game. So that's the purpose of this video. I'm just going to go through my settings on the game and show you how I've got it set up. Now my typical profile is obviously this one called Cliff at the top there. Um, that's another thing, your settings are profile specific, so if you've got like a couple of people playing the game with a couple of different save games under their under their name, like a new profile you can do here, um, their settings will be unique to them. That's what I've found anyway. And I'm now kind of playing the game pretty much with the same settings I've got in Euro Truck Simulator, so I'm not doing using these to change gear now. I've got like the automatic setup, so I would use the brake pedal to brake, accelerate the accelerator, but to actually go into reverse you would have to brake, come off the brake pedal, go back on the brake pedal, and then you would go into reverse. And same for going forward, you would use the accelerator pedal to slow down your reverse, and then come off the brake uh, accelerator pedal, and then press the game to go forward. So that's how I'm now using the game. I've got most of these, I'll just use this to show, got most of these controls set up, these are, these are now indicators. Uh, I think I've got lights down here. I've used this for my cruise control settings, wipers. Um, can't quite remember what I've got these set up for. I think it's high beam, low beam, and such. But uh, we'll go through that when I go through the settings on this. Um, I'll try and get this back over here so you can see it better. Hopefully, it lightens all right in this video. I've got like a south facing window, so even though I've got the green screen and multiple layers of blinds and everything up, the uh, northern hemisphere sun blasts in through this window all through the day which is kind of why I do most of these um, videos on the desktop here in the evenings when I get a chance but I've got some moments for it at the moment so I thought I'd move this light over here and try and shine on my face so you would see but anyway back to the settings don't want to distract you too long with that rubbish so let's see how I've got this game set up now the thing about Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator is you don't just have an option menu for how you've got this set up, you've also got an option menu for the keyboard here. And I do a lot of my, a lot of my stuff on the keyboard. For example, I'll uh, use these keys to look left, right, up, down, back, right, basically. I use back as a um, behind the view shot, in the forward as in the cabin, left, right, to look left and right out of the cabin. Got a few other things set up here. Um, not very much more I use apart from that. I do have the, the number keys here set up for like different types of views like further back from the car from the from the truck out external or on the truck in the distance external that sort of thing. Um, but yeah let's just go dub dive straight into um, options here and I'll I'll go through my settings. So here we go, we've got keys and controllers. So I'll go straight into my controllers settings here. First thing you'll see is I've got the Thrustmaster T150 selected as my wheel, but I've also got the top menu here, which is Keyboard plus thrust Thrustmaster T150 Racing Wheel. So I can do some things on the keyboard and some things on here, so I've got plenty of buttons to assign commands to. Now, first option is Wheel, Controller uh, Subtite. And I've got uh, Transmission as Simple Automatic now. Um, adaptive Automatic Transmission is disabled. And here's where you... Um, I've had a few people say, oh, I turned the wheel and it goes really fast or it doesn't turn slow enough. Well, this is where you uh, change that setting. How f your steering sensitivity is probably a big one. I mean, if you turn that right to the right, it means you're going to just turn the wheel a fraction and the truck's going to go um, But if you turn it right away down the left, you're going to be doing this a few times for the truck to actually turn. So that's how you get your uh, steering sensitivity. Force feedback gain. Well, that's just basically when you hit something with the truck, how much does the steering wheel do this as a vi you know, vibrate or something? Um, centering, force feedback. It also helps you feel the road in the game. There's kind of a, a fake surface in the game that gives some sort of like bump feedback through the steering wheel. Just makes it seem a little bit more realistic, that does. Um, steering access, joy, X. That's basically because I have a uh, joystick controller over here um, for my other games but it's got joy x which i think is this yeah so ignore what i've just said about that joystick but yeah you can see as i turn the wheel right turn the wheel left steering access is x joy x 
um, I've got my dead zone turned down really low that means I don't it's quite sensitive when I do this if I turn the dead zone up watch what happens when I turn the dead zone up nothing happens until I turn the wheel quite away like that so I'm going to turn the dead zone right down so I just need to turn it a bit steering access mode is centered so that means basically that's center go straight ahead if I didn't have it centered it would probably be like this or like this let's just try that invert centered well that's going to um, basically mean when I'm doing this turn it left it's going right when I turn it right it's going left okay so we'll come off that back to centered um, joy throttle well um, basically that's the down here that is the joy throttle on the thrustmaster and you can see I'm pressing it there and you can see it the feedback in there and again like the steering access you have hopefully you can see that down there um, a dead zone so you can turn the dead zone right up which means that nothing's happened when I'm pushing the key all the way down oh it's now frozen when I've done that so I've turned the dead zone right up I'll have to pause the video there a second there you go I've just had to reset my computer because I changed the um, the accelerator access dead zone and it froze out my mouse so you know even I get issues sometimes with the Euro Truck Simulator 2 anyway that's where you would change that for the brakes now where did I put this GoPro so I'll show you what I mean that's basically how far down how far down you press that to accelerate so the more sensitive it is the less, less sensitive it is the further you have to push it before something happens and um, the more sensitive it is you can see going up and down there I've got, I've got a very low setting there I don't think with a Thrustmaster T150 you have to put the setting up or down too much, just keep it fairly low because you don't want to be just touching the accelerator and <laughs> the truck darts off dead quickly so you want it fairly dead. That. But as you saw before I, I put it right along and then I pressed down and it froze the computer so I must have, I don't know, maybe that's a bug in the game. Um, same with the brakes, you, do, you don't want to press them too much when you're doing that. So that's the brake one there, let's see. Yeah. Right, brake mode, I've got that inverted. Okay. Don't have a clutch on this uh, controller, so we'll uh, put this back down here. I've showed you the brakes anyway, and the accelerator pedal settings. Oh. Back to the keys in a minute. You can see the keys there, right. Uh, you see, you've got non applicable and almost everything else. Shifter layout splitter. Don't use manual gears, so but this, these are the standard settings that are in there. Never change them. Um, so that is it for the steering wheel. Don't do anything else on there. Most of the rest of my uh, things I do are under the keyboard layout, including a lot of these buttons. They're set up under the keyboard layout options. I know it seems a bit you would imagine it would all be under steering wheel, but it isn't. You've got things like indicators, cruise control, and such. You basically go into the keyboard settings, which I'm going to show you here, and you sign the buttons instead on here instead of the buttons on the keyboard. So uh, we'll get to that in a second. Let's put that back in there. Yes, I know it's back to front, and that's probably where a lot of years have gotten confused. Yes, I know. Don't blame me. Blame the people who make the games. I just work here. Oh, sorry, I don't have work. I don't work here. I just live here. I just bought the game and figured it out. I suppose that's probably a better way of saying it. Anyway, so we're going to go down to keyboard buttons down here, and now you'll see in keyboard we've got joy button 2 and joy button 1. Now, gather that shift up and down, but I don't use it now with the settings I've got. Everything else is non assigned. I've got brake throttle, steering, it means I can, I mean, you see up here, it means I can use Z e and D still to steer on the keyboard if I wanted to. Why would you when you've got a steering wheel? Um, shift up and down see I don't use that anymore because I've got it assigned through the through the base through the um what's it what's it called the basic let's go back and steam wheel automatic settings it's a like simple automatic settings where you just use the brake pedals for it so uh, anyway we'll go back to this what else have we got in here first thing I'm gonna assign joy button one left indicator so this is joy button one here that's why I use the indicator now Joy button 2 is right indicator, so basically you click it once, it comes on, click it on again, it goes off. Hazard warning, I've not assigned one. Joy button 12 light modes, that would be on here. I use this one to go through the light modes, I believe. Um, or 
and one of these ones for high beam. Let's just see which one I've assigned high beam. It says joy button 8. Yep, that's it, which I've assigned for high beam. Right, uh, space bar beacon. That's if you got like um, your yellow flashing beacons you've purchased that for your wagon. Makes that go on top of there. Horn joy button 7, this one I believe. And uh, let's have a look further down here. Light horn. Well, that's the hat. Hat, hat joy is these, so I've got one of these on light horn. I'm not going to press it and reassign it, but I've got the joy button 4. I believe it is these, one of these ones. Let's just have a look. One of them I've assigned to the wipers, but you can see now where you assign them. Cruise control, that's what I've done here. Cruise control off on. I think that one's on. That's reset. That's up, down, speed. Decrease, increase. That basically buttons joy 2, button joy 2, joy 2. Um, that's about it. I've got. I've assigned the uh, number keys, as you can see here. These keys here to uh, different views. I think they're automatically assigned. Actually, I've just left them. Well, all I did was assign these as well to in cabin, outside cabin, behind the truck, inside the cabin, look left, inside the cabin, look right. That's all I did. Which I think is further down here. There you go, you got right, interior look right, press that one, interior look left, press that one, and uh, what else we got? We've got what if I sign for up and down, up down, there you go, interior camera, up, chasing camera, down. And if you're using American Truck Simulator, I've pretty much assigned everything the same in there. So, there you have it. As you have requested, that's my settings in Euro Truck Simulator. It just takes a bit of time to go through them all and get them the way you like. You don't have to do them like me, you can change them to what you feel more comfortable with. But I think that's where most people have gone wrong with this. You see, you've got one of these, you immediately go settings, setup, controls and just look at the steering wheel option in the bottom of the screen there. You don't look at the keyboard bu buttons option, but yeah, go at the keys and buttons option and you can sign things in here. Like things like indicators and everything on your steam wheel under the keys and buttons option. Anyway, I think that's all that this video needs. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I might do one for American Truck Simulator as well. Might keep people happy. Okay, thanks again. Bye.